and welcome to Celebration Kids Online. It's so fantastic to have you with us today. Hope you've had a wonderful week. Thanks for joining in. Today, we are going to have a look at the power of unity. Hmm, I wonder, what does unity mean? Does anyone know? Hmm, I think I need to ask someone. Oh, hi, welcome. We're looking at what does unity mean? And I wonder if you could help us. Yeah, I can help. So unity means the agreement amongst people, harmony and togetherness. Wow, thanks a lot. So unity is when we work together and not apart. We're gonna have a look at a few examples in the Bible today. But first, I have something to show you that will hopefully help us to remember about the power of unity. Ooh. I have a delicious lolly snake with me today. Who likes lollies? Me, 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 I do. I bet you do too. Well, this snake, he's only one little snake. I wonder if I try and stretch him and pull him, do you think it's gonna be easy for me to break it? Yes, I think so too. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, wow, that was pretty easy. But I wonder if I put three snakes together, do you think I'll be able to break that as easily? Let's have a look. Here are my three snakes and I've twisted them together. Let's see, oh, what do you think? Do you think it's gonna be hard for me to pull these apart? Yes, I think so too. I think it's gonna be really, really hard. Look, I'm pulling with all my might, just with a one snake. Oh, oh, man, that was so much harder. Do you know why? Because they're stronger and better together. Let's have a look at a story in the Bible which talks about unity and the power of working together. It's about a man named Nehemiah and he and his friends want to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Let's take a look at this video. A long time ago in the land of Persia, there was a guy named Nehemiah. I'm Nehemiah. Me and the Israelites have been captured and taken from our homes to the land of Persia. That's sad. Why'd that happen? Long story. I'll tell you later. Now let's get back to Nehemiah. I've been given the job of the king's cupbearer. That means I give him his wine. One day, Nehemiah found out the wall around his city he used to live in was broken down and completely destroyed. God, this is really bothering me. I want to rebuild this wall. If you want me to, then let the king give me permission to go back and rebuild it. Later on, Nehemiah was serving the king his wine. Nehemiah, you've never looked this sad before. What's up? I want to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. Will you give me permission to do it? Go ahead. I'll give you the things you need. I'm glad the king said yes. Yeah, me too. Anyway, when Nehemiah got to Jerusalem, he found out that there was no way he could rebuild the wall all by himself. This wall is huge. Plus, those guys, Sam Ballot and Tobiah, are trying to stop me from rebuilding it. I'm gonna need some serious help. Hey everybody, this city's not looking so good. Let's rebuild the wall. God has helped me because I got the king's permission to do it. So what are we waiting for? All right, let's rebuild the wall. And faster than anyone thought they would, Nehemiah and his friends rebuilt the wall. And the guys that were trying to stop them never did. The end. Wow, how cool was that? That they were able to build the wall so much quicker together than if they'd built it by themselves. That shows us that when we work together, we're able to accomplish amazing and great big things for God. How cool is that? Hmm, I wonder. 
What's something you can do better with others than by yourself? I know for me, playing sport by myself isn't lots of fun. Hmm, it's not much fun passing the ball by yourself. I think it's better together. Wow, that was so much more fun playing sport with somebody else than by myself. Let's have a look at another story in the Bible. This story is about the disciples and we can find it in Acts chapter 2, verse 44 to 47. Read along with me now. All the Lord's followers often met together and they shared everything they had. They would sell their property and possessions and give the money to whoever was in need. Day after day, they met together in the temple. They broke bread together in different homes and shared their food happily and freely while praising God. Everyone liked them and each day the Lord added to their group others who were being saved. Wow, how awesome is that? All the things they did together. Can you remember some of the things that they did together? They shared what they had. They ate together. And they praised God together. Because they were doing all of these great things together, other people saw and wanted to join in too. So there is power in unity in doing things together. The last thing we're going to look at when it comes to unity is the power of prayer. Let's have a look at that together in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19 to 20. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. How beautiful is this in what Jesus teaches us about the power of unity and in praying together and remembering that as we do that, He is with us. Let's recap some of the things we've learned today about the power of unity and what unity means. Unity is when we work together. And remember how we saw that in the story of Nehemiah when he and his friends rebuilt the wall and accomplished great things for God. We can do that too. Also, remember how we looked at the disciples and what they did together. And when they enjoyed being together, more people also wanted to join in on the fun. They shared what they had, they ate together, and they praised God together. And lastly, we looked at the power of prayer and the power of praying together and agreeing together and remembering that as we do that, Jesus is there with us. So today, we also have some questions that you can talk about with your families. Question number one. What is something that you can do better with someone else? Question number two. What are some things that you can be praying together as a family? Remember that we're better together. You know what's also better when we do together? When we have fun together. Last week, there was a family from Celebration Kids that showed us an awesome dance party they had in their lounge room. So we thought it would be loads of fun to see other kids and their dance party in their lounge room. So, if it's okay with mum and dad, we're now gonna get up, have a dance party, and they can film along and tag it to We Will Celebrate Kids. Come on, get up, let's dance together. You know what? I need someone else to dance with me so I can do it together too. All right, well, let's dance. So 
much fun. Thanks for joining in. Hope you had lots of fun at home too, dancing. Also, make sure you check out We Will Celebrate Kids Instagram for lots of more activities you can do this week with your families. Thanks for joining us for another We Will Celebrate Kids online. It's been so much fun having you with us. We pray you have such a fantastic week and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone!